Paul McNerney had managed his type 1 diabetes since the age of two, injecting himself with insulin up to four times a day. But the lawyer wanted an Omnipod, a wearable pump that delivers insulin automatically, taking away the need for the jags. With repeated injections and finger pricking, it was painful, it's inconvenient. Um, Paul obviously being a lawyer, having to inject in court or correct his blood glucose whilst he was in court, it's difficult. Um, if we're on a car journey, do you know? So the reason for going on to the pod device was really just to free Paul up. Paul's device was fitted just four days before he and Scott were married in July. But just a few months later, something went horribly wrong when Scott found Paul unresponsive in their bedroom with his blood sugar levels dangerously low. The ambulance crew said that they didn't really know what had happened, but it was quite possible that he'd had a stroke. Um, so that was their first instinct. Uh, so I followed uh, the ambulance to the hospital. Ten minutes later, a female doctor came into the room and sat with me, asked me what had happened the night before. She then said Paul was on a life support machine. And they didn't know what was wrong. They didn't know what had happened. Data from Paul's device showed the 39-year-old received four days' worth of insulin in just 48 minutes. Paul suffered huge brain damage, slipped into a coma and never woke. Someone pulled a rug and I fell. And it didn't stop. It didn't stop. And nobody could give me an answer. Nobody could tell me what, what happened. As Paul's death is being treated as unexplained, police have seized the Omnipod, passing it to the UK health regulator for inspection. In a statement, the US-based maker of the device, Inchalet, said, consumer safety is our number one priority, adding that they have been made aware of this unfortunate incident and are working with the Ministry of Health and Regulatory Affairs in the UK to obtain the device for further investigation. They go on to say they believe their product is safe and have seen no evidence of any malfunction and extend their deepest condolences to Mr McNerney's loved ones. Scott believes the Omnipod device was faulty, but until investigations are complete, he's left with the pain of losing his husband so unexpectedly. He's the most humble, kind, generous, the most loving person. Beautiful, beautiful man. An absolutely beautiful man. I miss him. The Crown Office say an investigation into Paul's death is ongoing and the family will continue to be kept updated with any developments. Ollie Dickinson, STV News, Glasgow.